Hey, sugar. This is Latani with Saggy Soul, and I'm a whole lot of woman. So family, thank you for tuning into your reading. <laughs> this will be from April the 17th to roughly April the 31st. Let's just start with Aries because it's Aries season, and now I'm on to Gemini. Gemini, before I get started, let me say thank you. To all of my old subscribers, I really appreciate you. Thank you to my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. So family, thank you for the shares, the likes, the dislikes, the comments, uh, it is all energy. Thank you so much, so family, for leaving your comments and leaving your personal stories. Of course, this helps, uh, it helps to heal others, others who are going through the same situations, similar situations, and those who will be coming up behind the energy. Um, okay, so Gemini, you must be important. <laughs> It was one of the sermons that I looked at the other day uh, by uh, Stephen um, Portick. You must be important. A lot of you are here because of pain, uh, feeling different, feeling out of sorts, maybe even possibly even addictions, whether it's sex addictions, alcohol addictions, drug addictions. Understanding that that pain is something that uh, is to teach you about self-worth, self-love, self-respect, how to leave others behind when they make you chase them, right? when they make you prove your love, because that is not love. That might be a divine masculine, a divine feminine, but it might not be yours, right? And things that are not in line or not within your life path, you have to chase. Things that are about love, respect, self-worth, equal give and take, equal reciprocity, you don't have to chase. You don't have to play games, right? Dealing with people who are healed and whole and solid within their own foundation, mentally stable, right? Moving into people who you feel all of sorts are different. And understanding that it's time to release karmic people, right? People who make you feel that way. People who make you prove yourself to them. People who make you feel like you need to belong into a certain group or a certain family dynamic or in a certain relationship and addictions. Whether it's drug addictions, alcohol addictions, looking at the people around you. Are they enablers? Are they the one who supply the drugs? Are they the one who allow you to do the drugs in front of them? Because you can be who you are as long as you're giving them energy, your time, and giving them your money. Understanding men that this is a time and age where women will create baby traps, right? Understanding that those sexual addictions will keep you trapped into low vibrational, low vibrational entities of this earth, right? So you must be important because there's a bigger plan, something that is meant for you, something that you're supposed to do. Just like you're reincarnated into this earth, there are things that are reincarnated into this earth with you to hold you back, things to keep you back from your true potential. So it's time to move because if you won't move, you'll have tower after tower after tower, karmic situation after karmic situation, money loss, anything that holds you back, anything to create shame, anything to destroy your image. So you must be important. I will link that uh, sermon uh, below by Stephen Verdick, uh, Fordick, I'm sorry, so that you can watch that uh, if you choose to. Uh, so this may resonate with a lot of people or maybe just one or two people, whoever's meant to hear it the most. Continue to check your moon sign, rising Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North Node, everything in your natal birth chart that make up exactly who you are. Uh, so I've already set my intentions and I have already set my prayer off camera. Uh, so Gemini, sugar, come on down. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. <laughs> I hope you all are having a good week. Hope you're staying focused. Focused on your goals, Focus on your to-do list, writing out that book, writing out your manuscript. Working on your next business plan, working on your next business endeavor, working on your new skill sets. So Gemini, when I split the deck, I have the uh, Princess of Staves, which is just like the Page of Wands uh, with the Magician. Uh, this is your card, the Magician, uh, Gemini. So this is almost like being involved with someone a lot longer, younger than you, someone who is immature. And the prince or the page of staves is a could be a younger adult, full of passion, full of fire, full of lust. Being careful, right? Whatever the situation is, there's some Geminis out there who are not happy of their choices. You may feel stuck, but there's always options. 
And when I split the deck again, Gemini, I have the Chariot, Major Arcana, in the upright with the Four of Staves, which is just like the Four of Wands. Uh, as you can see, this is that Soulmate card, that Twin Flame card. And the Chariot is about moving forward, moving forward, a coming, overcoming obstacles, overcoming those who put um, roadblocks in your way, making it happen. Not worried about what others have to say. Not getting the opinions of others or caring about others' opinions. And I'll shuffle one more time and then we'll cut the deck. Let's cut the deck. Gemini, your focus the Prince of Cups in the reverse, which is just like the Knight of Cups. Hmm. So this is wanting to come in with the offer, but not really meaning it. <laughs> you also have the Devil, Major Arcana, in the reverse. You also have the Hierophant, Major Arcana, in the reverse. You also have the Four of Sacred Circles, which is just like Four of Pentacles, in the reverse. You also have the Two of Cups, Soulmates, in the upright. You also have the Eight of Sacred Circles, which is just like the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. And you have the Star, Major Arcana, in the reverse. Hmm. Interesting. So we have three uh, Major Arcanas here. All right, let's see if we can get a good view. Bear with me, these cards are very large. Um, hmm. yeah, I'm not going to touch it. I don't want to turn off the camera. I think that should be good, though. Gemini, your focus, the Prince of Cups, which is just like the Knight of Cups, hmm. but it's in the reverse. And on the upright, the Knight of Cups come in with invitation. This knight is very dreamy, full of illusions, hmm. full of words. <laughs> Full of invites, wanting to travel. This could even be the card of one night stands, right? They talk love, they gaslight, but they really don't mean it, and especially in the reverse. This is someone who really doesn't want love. This is someone who can be uh, over emotional, very erratic with their emotions and behavior. And again, someone who gaslights. Or says what they need or what want others want to hear to get what they want. You also have the devil, Major Arcana, in the reverse. And on the upright, the devil is bondage. It's addictions. Alcohol addictions, drug addictions, sex addictions, codependency, right? Anything that kept you that keeps you bound to another, whether it's a substance, whether it's a person, whether it's a place, anything that keeps you in low vibrational. And in the reverse, understanding those addictions, whether this is dealing with it head on, whether it's releasing those people and places around us that mean us no good. And you also have the higher font, major arcana, in the reverse. In the upright, the higher font is tradition, is marriages, it's generation, it is higher learning, it is wisdom and religion and being guilely, gui I'm sorry, divinely guided, high corporations, higher learning, and then sometimes this is even justice in the law system, right? And in the reverse, not wanting to follow traditions, right? Not looking for marriages, not looking for anything that is in a religious nature, right? Almost like a rebel, especially being next to the Hierophant. It's like the, app is the opposite uh, of each other. And you also have the Four of Sacred Circles, which is just like the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. And on the upright, the Four of Pentacles. This is holding on. And for some of you, you could be smokers, <laughs> heavy smokers. Uh, and for some of you, uh, you could be even a spiritual leader 
because it's almost like when this person smokes, uh, they see spirit. They see the divine uh, going into certain trance. But um, in the reverse, this is almost like wanting to share with others, wanting to share your talents, wanting to share your thoughts, uh, wanting to share your smoke. <laughs> Let's keep going. You also have the two of cups. Soulmates. Divine soulmates, true love. I kind of love that you put in your blueprint to teach you a lesson. Is this a karmic lesson or is this a divine counterpart? Someone who will love you for you in your worst days and your best days. Because that's what it's all about. It's love. And you also have the eight of sacred circles, which is just like the eight of pentacles. This person is working with their hands. For, for some of you, you uh, put in hard labor. right? You work with your hands, whether it's manual or... Yeah, pretty much, because this person is building and creating and stashing up things, too. Stashing up their work, but they're focused. For some of you, this is probably what you've done for the past eight years. Because they look like a pro at whatever they're knitting or kneading or putting together. And you also have the star card, Major Arcana, but it was in the reverse. Now, on the upright, the star card is healing, is hope. For some of you, you could be known locally in your community or in your circles, right? Nationwide, worldwide, divinely guided and divinely, divinely uh, rooted. It's almost like a wish come true. And for some of you in the upright, this is even good health and a healing of any type of illnesses. But in the reverse, this is... A wish not coming true, something that cannot be manifested, something that is not healed and even suffering bad health. Gemini on the board, you have cups, oops, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You also have pentacles, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. You also have the star, Aquarius, the Hierophant. Taurus, and for me as a reader, Aries, and the devil, Capricorn. But we know any sign can encompass all of these. Any sign can be a devil. <laughs> it could be in your rising, uh, moon, Venus, vice versa for the cross watch or even the person that you're dealing with. So Gemini, I don't see any swords which would represent your sign, which means you're not in your head about anything. I do see money here. The Eight of Pentacles means you're focused on money. Hmm. Uh, for some of you, we do have the Two of Cups here, which is a uh, be twin flames, uh, divine soulmates, even karmic soulmates here to teach you a lesson. Uh, I don't know which one you could be, Gemini, but take your pick because these are opposites. The opposites do attract. One is the Hierophant, one is the devil. Good versus evil. <laughs> the light versus dark. Uh, the thing is... Pick your passion or pick your poison. One is light, one is dark. You both are in the reverse. And the thing is, Gemini, I do believe you want to come in with the offer, but then you don't. I mean, you want to come in with an offer. But it's like, not really. Almost like, I want to come in with the offer, but when I want, how I want. When I want you, how I want you. I hope you let me do that. 
because <laughs> the Knight of Cups is in the reverse. So this isn't coming in romantically or dreamy or with illusions or with plans or romantic and flowers and chocolates. No, this is calling someone up and saying, what are you doing? Come over. What are you doing? I'm coming over. Knock, knock. I'm here. Pick up your phone. I want to talk to you. This is not how we treat soulmates, Gemini. Or Gemini, this is how someone could be treating you. The thing is, someone wants to open up now. Because the Four of Pentacles is keeping it a tight lip. Keeping the heart closed. Keeping our homes closed. Keeping closed off from others. And in the reverse, this is wanting to share news. This is wanting to... Share thoughts. This is maybe even wanting to share money. Maybe a little bit of time. But the thing is, the, the night is in the reverse. This is almost like someone who doesn't know how to date. This is almost like someone who's never had a true, a real date. A real romantic encounter. This is someone who is used to people bowing down when they want, how they want. The problem is you met your match and neither one of you are budging. Neither one of you are talking and you are both ignoring the other. I see the two of cups here. This is a soulmate. This is a twin flame. This is somebody that you contracted with in a blueprint before you reincarnate it down into this earth to either be divinely in love and build legacies or to teach you a karmic lesson. The thing is, whoever is the devil, they're the karmic lesson. But with the devil being in the reverse, this is almost like realizing who this other person is. Again, one is light, one is dark. And for a lot of you, you're choosing just to focus on work, your pentacles. Keeping it quiet. Staying focused. And even then, it's almost like, as you can see, this person has a tight, tight lip. <laughs> Not really speaking. And for a lot of you, you don't ever think that this will be a reconciliation. For a lot of you, you've almost given up hope on this situation. Be it you don't want to put the work in. Be it that you don't know how to manifest this back. Or being that you don't want this divine connection. Because I can hear some Gemini saying that love is too much work. Love is too hard. I would have to open myself up and be real and honest. Which is why maybe some of you are coming in a little rude. <laughs> hmm. Not so loving, not so kind, not so romantic. Because you figured out who your counterpart is. And you're wanting to open up, but you just don't know how. But you can always start with, hi, my name is. <laughs> or I've been thinking. Or what have you been up to? Or what has been going on in your life? Right? Opposites do attract. And you two are totally opposites. One of you may be very good. And one of you may be very bad. One of you may be very dark. And one of you may be very light. 
balancing, right? Balancing each other out. Hmm. Let's get a few cards here. Gemini, for this, I'm going to get some love cards. Let's see. Let's pick two. First one we have is visions. This is almost like a Gemini card, right? A mirroring effect. It's almost like both of you are mirroring each other. Both of you are ignoring each other. Both of you are being stubborn, right? Both of you are focused on your different aspects of life. And at least one of you are trying to come out of addictions. But it says visions, psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing out of body travel. So this means you two astral travel to each other. Hmm. That's that true soulmate connection, right? You may not be talking on the 3D, but on that 4 and 5D, this is where you two connect. Where there's no ego, there's no pride on the 5D. And you have one more. We have the wave of power, a surge of power, upswing and energy, exhilarating movement. Hmm. So for some of you, I always think about that as divine timing, right? With the spring or summer coming up, maybe one of you will be feeling froggy, <laughs> ready to finally jump at this opportunity, right? Because this night, the cups is not coming in very dreamy, very romantic. It's almost like having to rethink, rethink your approach. How would your divine counterpart want to be treated? How would a divine masculine want to be treated? How would a divine feminine want to be treated? And rethinking those steps, rethinking that, that plan. A wave of power, a surge of power, an upswing in energy, and exhilarating movement. Hmm. So someone's going to make the first step. Remember, Geminis, and this is with anybody, if you wait too long, opportunities can pass you by. And we never want a situation where we miss out on our true divine counterpart. Because if we pass that up, then the divine will acknowledge that and reassign your counterpart to someone else. <laughs> So Gemini, this is your reading from April the 17th through April the 31st. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course, um, I just said that. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Yes. Oh my goodness. So family, thank you so much for tuning in to Saggy Soul. Again, you must be important. You're here for a reason. You're trying to overcome that pain. You're trying to overcome being different, a black sheep, feeling alone. You're trying to overcome addictions. I'm going to put that link below from Stephen Furtick so that you can check it out if you wish. Thank you so much for tuning in to Saggy Soul and for one soul to another soul. I love you so, family. Have a, have a good week.